Hello, dear friend, beloved in the Lord. It is again time for On Eagle's Wings Daily Devotional. I am Reverend Andy Suwajani coming your way. Can we pray, thanking the Lord, blessing Him? Mighty God, we are grateful. You've given our families life and strength for this new day. Oh, blessed Lord, we thank you. We praise you. Bless us today from your word and give us a sure word we can carry for this new day. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I share with you today's devotional titled, A Most Noble Calling. A Most Noble Calling. Nehemiah 3.8 says that next to him, Uziel, the son of Hahiah, one of the goldsmiths made repairs. Also next to him, Hananiah, one of the perfumers, made repairs. And they fortified Jerusalem as far as the broad wall. While Jerusalem's walls were being rebuilt under Nehemiah's leadership, all hands were on deck to ensure the completion of the work. From today's main texts, even perfumers and goldsmiths didn't excuse themselves from the work. They left their businesses to attend to God's business because to them, rebuilding Jerusalem's walls and God's temple was very dear to their hearts. They saw it as a most noble calling. As believers, the building or furtherance of God's kingdom, wherever we function, is a noble call and must be cherished above all other things and vocations. Imagine that perfumers and goldsmith were on site laying building blocks. They didn't think that their professions excused them from prioritizing the building of God's city or temple. You may be a professional in a particular field of endeavor, but understand this. Your profession is God's gift to you. What you do with it is your gift to God. The primary reason for which God gave you a profession is not to get a good job or make money. It is to serve Him and extend His kingdom. The job you have is just to pay the expense. A time comes in life when God calls you to use everything He has equipped you with. It is a call bigger than you, bigger than any profession, and bigger than working in a big corporation, making money, traveling abroad, or living large. God seeks architects that will design people's lives and bring order and symmetry to them. God seeks doctors to cure people from spiritual blindness and illnesses. God seeks lawyers that will mediate and intercede between God and man. God seeks bankers who will bring people out of spiritual bankruptcy. God seeks midwives that will help to birth spiritual babies through evangelism. God seeks marketers and investors that will grow the franchise of God's kingdom here on earth, etc., etc. So dearly beloved, it is time to ask yourself, what contributions am I making in man's eternal destiny? What am I giving back to God? What is on my spiritual CV? Whatever your profession is, you must remember that you are an ambassador for Christ. You are here to promote God's kingdom. Therefore, you must consciously make decisions and take steps 
that will help you fulfill this noble call in your marketplace and even in your local assembly, which is your church. Offer your time, your services, your expertise, and your material resources to establish God's kingdom. Don't let the title before or after your name stop you. Neither should you allow your academic qualifications to be cloud your vision. God is counting on you to answer this most noble call. Stand to be counted. And I repeat, stand to be counted. God doesn't care how much you know. He wants to know how much you care about the eternal destiny of men. That is the heartbeat of God. This morning, as you ponder over this devotional, I would like you to pray this prayer with me. Say, dear Lord, I pray for a heart that will be willing to promote your kingdom above anything else. Give me the grace to use the gift you have given me to adequately fund and serve your purpose on this earth. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer with me, then I would encourage you to follow the heartbeat of God and take that bold step to obey God and the noble call he has placed on your life. You don't need to be a pastor, an apostle, a prophet, an evangelist, a teacher to exercise your responsibility and duty in your noble call. But wherever you find yourself, rise up and shine for the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for you that as you go out there today, you will be an agent of influence for the kingdom of God. It has been my pleasure coming your way. I know that you are greatly blessed and encouraged. Have a pleasant day today. See you again, same time, tomorrow. Bye.